Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. This is Leslie. Thank you for joining me today. As you can see there, I've been cutting out the numbers 1 to 10 out of some um, white, plain white cardstock. And I'm using the Fancy Pants Take Note uh, ephemera pack today to make my layout. I only got the ephemera pack from this collection because um, I have uh, loads of other school um, products that I can use but I really love these numbers and that's sort of what got me so the photo that I'm going to be using is of me and the the three older kids um, in 2016 it was the first day of school after the September holidays and um, yeah so we just took a car selfie on the way to school and that is yeah that's that, that's what that photo is about I'm not sure in whose um, album I'm going to be placing it because all three kids are in there and I can't find the photo on my backup so I only have one copy of this photo and this is the copy so I'm not sure who I'm going to whose album I'm going to be putting it in but I'll, I'll I'm sure I'll figure it out soon enough so I'm going to be creating a horizontal, no men, a vertical layout, excuse me. I'm going to be creating a vertical layout with my numbers. I'm just snipping that little tab in half because I just wanted to use the one side. And I'm going to be placing it there on the right hand side, just beneath my photo. I've also layered a little sort of Polaroid type frame behind my photo and um, I decided that the white background was a bit too white so I am going to be using some of my Heidi Swap color shine um, to just jazz up the background a little bit so this is called butter and um, yeah I'm just going to be sprinkling it about I love the way my yellow nozzle sort of sprinkles it it you know it it's got good coverage <laughs> and it you know it makes very tiny little splats and sprinkles so sometimes these nozzles you know if you if you do the sprinkling technique with it they sort of splat a big splats instead of these teeny tiny ones like for instance my gold color shine doesn't do the teeny tiny splats it makes these bigger bigger little bigger little that's an oxymoron <laughs> it makes bigger splats on the page but anyway I thought that the color combination would work really well because these the numbers aren't your usual number you know the the, the usual colors um, so I've got some yellow and then I've got some gold and I'm also going to be bringing in some sea foam but first I'm going to go through all of my stickers on my desk to see what I can use to embellish um, in between the numbers um, so I've got some stars those large stars I'm not going to be using those um, uh, the little hearts I don't think I'm going to be using but those little stars the orange stars I'm going to be using um, and then I'm going to be using some extra uh, enamel dots and um, yeah I don't think I'm going to be using any one of those those are called heart hugs. They are from Bella Boulevard. So this is where I bring in the sea foam just to add in a little bit, you know, of diversity to the very yellow background. And this nozzle also splats very well. As you can see, the coverage was really good. And I did fast forward this a little bit. Um, I did wave my photo over the layout to get it dry, to get all the splats completely dry. I didn't want to mess all the splats up by uh, putting everything up, you know on top of it and smudging them smudging the splats so I wanted to um, uh, get that dry and I just waved my photo over it I mean it is so hot in any case here at the moment in Dubai things dry so quickly like you hang out the washing and 10-15 minutes later the washing's dry so <laughs> you know everything sort of this time of the year in Dubai everything gets dry really quickly um, although the, the humidity is a killer um, the heat is you know the heat obviously makes up for it so um, yes so I'm going to be placing my and uh, the numbers that I cut out 
uh, and and those those white numbers I just cut out of uh, some American crafts uh, textured white cardstock and I just drew the numbers on just freehand drew them it's not there's no I didn't use a um, silhouette there's, I, I don't have punches it's basically I just drew them freehand and cut them out with my Tim Holtz um, you know fussy cutting scissors so that was very basic there's no rocket science involved in that I, ju I basically just wanted another layer of something underneath those numbers and I thought by placing more of the same numbers but in white underneath it it would give an interesting sort of echo of the number on top and because it's white it's very subtle you have to sort of look before you see it really um, and uh, it, it turned out really nicely as you can see that I am popping up the colored numbers the fancy pants numbers I'm popping them up on some little foam squares just so that there's an extra dimension and it also creates a shadow on the page and I really like that effect so um, because there's not going to be a lot of action on this page it's basically what you see here plus the extra numbers and some little star stickers and enamel dots that's basically what's going to be it and I wanted to create some dimension because there's not as I said not going to be a lot of a lot of action on this page so I needed to get something with a little bit of zhuzh so the dimension really adds that to the page um, yes so do you guys scrap your kids school photos how do you scrap your kids school photos if you do have children or if you've got grandchildren that or in school or how, how do you document their school year is it um i know when i was little uh like really little <laughs> uh, we had these um books and um they were called um ak is ak lash. so it's like i am myself <laughs> i am me um the direct translation into english and it was basically just your school year with all the goodies and all your certificates and you know a space for your year photo and all of that and i think we only did it for like a year or two or three and then that was also you know <laughs> lost interest in that but um um, I'm really dead set on documenting all my kids' school adventures and everything they've done in school. Um, I think it's really important so that they can look back one day and even if they don't remember the event, they can look back and see, but, you know, it looked fun and we were happy and um, look at what we did and look how much we've grown and, um, you know, and if they do remember the event, it's it's an extra bonus, you know, it's sort of like you know taking a walk down in memory lane so it's very important for me to I think I'm a bit obsessed with it you know I really want to document every single moment of my kids lives so <laughs> uh, yeah so it's a bit of an obsession with me but um, so yeah so that's um, how do you document your kids school school years and do you even document them um, you know it's interesting to to find out interesting to to know so I as you can see there I waited to put the seven on because I wanted to get that little Polaroid frame stuck down before I added the seven to it and here I am starting with the bling with the blinging up of my page I'm just going to be using those little flat enamel dots now these are really flat I got them at a shop a little stationery shop here in Dubai and I haven't been able to find them again so this is my last batch of these little flat enamel dots I have and that's the last little bits of yellow that I'm going to be sticking on, th on this page I thought to use the yellow because I you know there's there's lots of yellow in the background and then two yellow numbers and the yellow is a really happy color in any case so I also loved using these orange bits because they are quite a dark sort of dirty orange and I didn't know where else I would use them so I'm glad I got to use those little orange stars and um, 
Yes, uh, oh, I do use the hearts. I thought I didn't use the hearts. I'm going to be adding some little hearts there. So if this is going to be basically it for this layout and um, there's not much left to do, I'm not going to be adding any of those larger stars. They were a bit too big for, for the layout. But yes, um, if you're not a subscriber, please consider subs please consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you on the channel. I love to chat with the ladies um, if they leave. If you guys leave comments in the comment section, um, I hope you find that I do respond to your comments um, eventually. <laughs> so I also really love reading your comments and... Um, if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing so that you can become a part of this community. And then if you don't mind, please give this video a like. It really helps with the YouTube algorithms. And then if my algorithms are a bit better, then my videos pop up on more people's feeds. So, you know, that's just the way it goes. So if you don't mind, please give this video a thumbs up. And yes. I will see you again soon with some more school layouts and um, I've got loads coming for you guys. So enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.